Hello! Uh, I just thought I would make a video showing the progress and updates I've done on the RC drone robot tank thing I'm working on. Uh, if you seen the last video you saw that it worked very well and was very fast and it was really fun until the motors, one of the motors in it burnt up. But uh, yeah, that happens. So uh, first I can tell you what I got the idea from. And uh, it was uh, this RC speed tank by Bryant87. Uh, I found it on Thingiverse. And I thought it was really cool. He have some videos and stuff and yeah, really cool. But uh, there was some aspect of it I wasn't so happy with. And it was that it was open. So the snow and rain could come in here. So if I'm gonna make it a robot that I can control from the computer. Uh, have it remote locations. I want it to be more waterproof and weather resistant. And also... He used a lot of uh, parts that wasn't 3D printed, like uh, a screw and nut for every track segment, and that's a lot of screws. But look at his video, it's really cool. And then I also found another spin-off of this that tank from Andre Klaus, and he have also done a version of it that's really cool with brushless motors and gearings and stuff so but he also uses a lot of part to put it together uh, yes what should i talk about next yeah this was the motors i used in mine it was uh, motor and esk combo from uh, banggood and uh, i used 35 turns and uh, I think it was a little bit too fast uh, for for that tank because I in the last video I I think it was only half speed I ran it at when it went the fastest there. So when I ordered the replacement motors now I ordered these motors instead, and they look exactly the same except that they are. Uh, 80 turn motor and now it's a crawler esk it's the exact same esk but with different color of the heat sink and that's much better with that color uh, it should be more protected also hopefully and since it's 80 turn it's gonna be slower but stronger I hope. Yeah, so that was that, and let's bring up the Fusion 360 design here. And this is how I draw it in the computer. Uh, I have different colors of the parts just to just to make it easier to see and uh, <coughs> I try to use as few non 3d printed component as possible so the, the nuts and bolts I have is used for multiple things like hinges for the latch here and also I have modular battery tray that I can change out and it also holds together with the nuts there and I can close that lid the back lid and then I close the front lid and then I screw in 
this screw to lock it in place. Now the screw locks the front lid and the front lid locks the back lid. So if I'm gonna open it I have to unscrew this screw first a little bit, not all but just a little bit. Now I can open that and open that. And in, in my design now I moved the motors forward so I can get more space here for the stuff. And I use a 12 I can see it there. It's a 12 uh, teeth gear mod module 1 on the motor and uh, this is a 55 teeth gear on the wheel but uh, I can change that. I also have an 11 teeth so I have to increase the number of teeth there instead but yeah and my tracks for the tank my tank segments are a little bit different than the, the others as you can see I just have a hole here and not a hole on the other side that's because I use filament I just push in a filament here to press press fit filament to bind the segments together I have nylon filament for that yeah, and this is uh, just a tool I made to make it easy to faster to screw and unscrew that yeah and let's look at how it looks in reality and here is the tank in real life but uh, I ran out of black filament so I printed this part in grey for now and here is the tool I used to unscrew the bolt there a bit so I can open yeah as you can see there is a nut press fitted inside there but uh, if I screw it out more there it locks on this part and then yeah this part locks this part in place and also you can see I have an angle on all the parts here and here that's just so I can print them on the side without needing support and here is the middle piece it's a it's just uh, fitted it's no screws or anything holding it together I try to limit everything to only use these parts every wheel use two ball bearings and uh, a bolt and a nut that's it I don't want any bolts holding all the thing together I try to do it so to the same bolts that I use in the wheels are used for everything else also here is an example the battery tray is uh, held together with the the screw so if you want to remove the battery tray and like print someone for another other type of battery you can just unscrew these two screws there and and it's done and you see my track segment doesn't have uh, any screws here is how they look like you can see I press fitted parts of nylon filament there and it works great they don't come loose yeah. and here is my scrap piece and test piece uh, box yeah. and here 
here is the burnt motor very crunchy <laughs> yeah, and this is how the gear look like the ball bearings are press fit and I also have a spacer printed in there and what's more yeah before I print uh, since a lot of thing is press fitted in my design I usually print test pieces first to see what size is good for press fitting like nuts and things like that yeah so that's how it's uh, coming along I will post all the files and design later when I have gotten the motor and test run it and see if I have the design finished yeah have a nice day goodbye